Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's the Wheel Rating. Today, I want to talk to you about 2020's year-long storyline in The Elder Scrolls Online, The Dark Heart of Skyrim. I have just finished the Markarth DLC, which I was very grateful grateful to finally find time to finish and i finished the epilogue story which was quite frankly excellent um now compared to last year's or the year before that's um uh elsewhere uh arc with all the dragons the dark heart of skyrim had a very gothic very dark and bleak feel to it very little in the ways of happy endings, per se. Um, it was interesting, to say the least. Um, they, the, the, I, I was particularly interested by, and this is a deep cut lore for anybody who cares. I'm just going to talk about it briefly, and then I'm going to move on. That the final big bad, and this is all spoilers here, going forward, to be so, you've been warned. Rada Al Saran was origi- was the original sorcerer that struck down the great red guard uh, Leki. And that's like kind of like an interesting lore tidbit within itself. That being said, the whole point of this story was discovering a plot by a vampire lord by the name of Rada Al Saran. Um combating him at every step and finishing him off at the very end. The purpose of the first DLC, which was a, which I believe which was a two um, uh, uh, which was which was uh, two um, it was called the, uh, I believe the um, Harrowstorm DLC which had two dungeons, which was Ice Reach and the um, Unhallowed Graves, I believe it's called, both of which were very, very interesting. Now, Unhallowed Graves is by far one of my favorite dungeons for the simple fact that there are a bunch of side bosses you can ha- you can fight that are very, very interesting and compelling to actually fight. Second, Ice Reach is fairly linear, and I honestly soloed it on normal by myself. It only took me about an hour, just, you know once i once why and granted it took me a whole hour because i was trying to figure out mechanics as i was going that being said um from those two stories we we discovered the remains of something called the gray host um which was an ancient undead army that was falled in the i think as early as the mythic era and the ice reach coven which was working on these things called harrow storms which were just bloody and awful Moving on, we go to the Greymore chapter where we are brought to Western Skyrim and have to defeat um, the the um, stop the Grey Host's plans to sacrifice dozens of souls in, in 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 the in the in the region to absorb their energy and bring their army back to life. Moving forward from there, we're back at, back to the Stone Thorn DLC where we fight not only an alchemist that is working to uh to amplify the strength of the gray host we are also invading a place called castle thorn which which is run by a vampire lord by the name of lady thorn who was ancient as all sin that we end up stopping from bolstering the ranks of the gray host with modern vampires and then finally we end with the mark dlc what ended up happening is is that there is a piece of the void stuck beneath uh, stuck be- beneath uh, the the reach in Western Skyrim in Black Reach, and and Rada Al Saran is using that in combination with a couple other things, i.e., for example, a um, couple artifacts from a piece of of Tamriel that was put into a space in between worlds that Mana Marco made a deal with with the Ard Karak Kar- Ard Kadek, the um the uh, ruler of Markarth and basically cr- wanted to take the the take the abilities of this local vampire sect sect and use their and use 
their ability to feed off of this dark heart to sustain the gray host. And we when we stopped the local branch, the um, Lady um, Al- not Alana, um, Lady Belen, and that was satisfying to put her in the brown. But I digress. Um, we st- we we thwart Lady Belen's desires to revive her clan in the dark heart of Skyrim by sacrificing the lives of everybody in Markarth. And even the and after that, a lot of people unfortunately passed, and uh, and but then we went through the process of finding Rod Al Saran and and discovering his ultimate plot, which was to basically turn, basically give, basically create something called Grey Haven, which is a world in between worlds where vampires and werewolves and other creatures of the night don't have to fear their souls going to the Dajic princes that own them. They could Death would be as in, in, as much of an inconvenience as it would be for a Daedra. And, what would an, and it basically was true immortality. And it is in this realm that Rada al-Saran created that we <laughs> that we have the final battle. We lose some characters along the way and we and it certainly is a compelling battle. I mean, the boss himself is as strong as a trial boss. Which, I mean, if I had 3 hours, I would probably would have I would have been interested if I had 3 hours to sit down and just kind of grind through all of the um like just grind through with all its health to see what happened if I could kill it by myself without any of aid because one of the characters basically puts up a field that weakens it and allows me to do normal damage to it but would have, I think it would have taken way too much time and I didn't want to sit around to do all that but it was certainly an interesting and compelling battle that one of the characters I um, count, um, count Raven watch um, basically through the power of the Dark Heart of Skyrim is able to bring back all the people that were fed into it against their will and people and the dead was ri- was raised. The the day is saved. Um, um, some of the characters you see, see that you know that are together and haven't seen each other in a while reconnect and it's romantic and lovely. Um, so it's, 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 it's uh, on the whole, it's a fantastic uh, um, begin, beginning, middle and end. I sort of kind of, I kind of, miss longingly um the the initial second story arc where the daedric war where it starts over it's instead of over the course of four dlc it's over the course of of about six or seven over the course of multiple years but i also know that that's not compelling for everybody you know when when the final dlc comes out you know you're going to have resolution and i know that a lot of people especially people who invest in mmos like that but i digress this year, the Gr- Dark Heart of Skyrim was fantastic, and I highly recommend. If you haven't played The Elder Scrolls Online yet, and you haven't done any of that, I highly, 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 highly recommend going in and playing through this. If you haven't played since the end of Elsewhere, go pick up Greymore, go pick up the other DLCs. It's it's I, it's genuinely worth your time, and, and, and super enjoyable. That was this episode of What's the Real Rating. Thank you guys so much, and tune in next week for our...